Ohangla musician Protus Ocheng, who is over the weekend entertained President William Ruto during his tour of CIA County, claims that his life is in danger after known armed people raided his home demanding for money. Here are the details. Protest Ocheng, whose stage name is Ocheng Alvaru, said the hooded gangsters invaded his home at Ongelo village in Rarienda sub-county on Saturday night, hours after he entertained the president during the homecoming party for ICT and Digital Economy Cabinet Secretary Elio Dowalo, a few kilometers away. Alvaru Ocheng, jina ya msanyi, lakini jina lango ni Protest Ocheng. Nile, nile mondia Mr. President Nyimbo. Lakini wakati nilikuwa huko kwa, kwa show kwa, kwa, kwa waziri Mr. Eliu Dowalo. Nikapata kama, nikirudi nikapata kama walikuja before. Walikuja around, around 10 p.m. at night. Walipata bibi yangu, wakamuliza, wanamziki ya kuwapi. He added that the gang came back at around 3 a.m. and knocked, prompting him to inquire who they were and what they wanted. Instead of identifying themselves, Avaro said the gangsters went ahead to break the door and held him and his family hostage, demanding to know why he had sung in praise of President Ruto earlier. Wameniambia. Kwa nini naweza, ku, naweza kuimba nyimbo yenye inasifu Mr. President kwa, kwa stronghold ya baba? Nika wambia mimi nilipewa hiyo contract, nifanya hiyo, nifanya hivyo. Sasa wameniambia, nisiwai, nisiwai, nisiwai fanya hivyo tena within C account. Kama nataka kufanya nyimbo kama hizo, if any outside the account. Gangsters also demanded that he surrenders the money he had received from the event, says the musician, adding that he had to tell them that he was not yet paid. The gangsters took off with the musician's four-year-old son and disappeared into the darkness as they menacingly warned the shaken parents not to dare raise the alarm or pursue them. Uh, lakini si kuwa na pesa. Nikawaambia mimi sijalepwa, nikawadanganya nitalipwa kesho. Sasa wame wameniambia mimi si, niko siko serious. Wakakichukua mtoto wangu 4 years old. Alvaro who reported the matter to the police at Asembo Bay is appealing on the government to come to his aid, adding that he was not sure what will happen next to him and his family.